everybody welcome back to ask nutrition is deepa's easy quick flavorful and good for you recipe videos today i'm going to show you how to make tindora corn fry this recipe is simple and gets done again in less than 15 minutes so let's look at the ingredients tindora comes from a gourd family it's available at any ethnic grocery stores and uh, very similar to cucumber or zucchini so if you don't have tindora feel free to use uh, any kind of gourd spe specifically zucchini or or you can even use okra um, so let's look at the ingredients i have approximately four cups of tindora here half a cup of potato that is that is left over potato from my previous recipe and uh, half a cup of corn now instead of corn you can also use peas but because it's summertime and corn is in abundance i have decided to use corn uh, the special masala the uh, the flavoring or seasoning that's going to go in here is my mom's goda masala i just call it my mom's masala and uh, make sure to watch my recipe on how i make my homemade uh, goda masala uh, on my channel and some crushed uh, peanut powder if you are allergic to peanuts you can use pumpkin seed powder or sunflower seed powder and some black sesame seeds um, but you can also skip sesame if you are allergic to it and then some usual culprits like cayenne and uh, cumin i mean uh, cayenne and turmeric and uh, some mustard seeds so let's get started with the recipe and then I'll talk to you about the nutritional value of this, uh, these ingredients. So I'm going to start the recipe by uh, steaming the chopped tindora for three to four minutes. Put it in any steamer you may have. I'm just using the old pressure cooker and uh, the tindora is in a, in a strainer with, a, with holes and the, the water that is going to uh, be left over after steaming the tindora will be used as a broth uh, to cook this tindora or your uh, corn tindora stir fry or fry and or i can store it for my future uh, cooking uses so i'm going to partially cover this and steam for like three to four minutes or until it is uh, slightly done but not mushy now while it's steaming, it may be worth it to take a look at it by opening and gently tossing it together just to make sure that the top layer um, gets the heat as well. If you, if you don't have double layer of the veggies, then, then that's fine. You don't have to open it and and stir it but because I had I have four cups in here I just want to make sure that all the layers get steamed properly so let's get cooking add a drop of water to make sure that the skillet is nice and warm or hot and I'm going to start by popping the mustard seeds as soon as they start to pop I'm going to turn it off, to turn the heat off and remove it from the heat just for a few seconds, just to make sure they are not burning. And that's it. You can easily smell the real flavor of mustard. So once the mustard is popped, it's time to add the steamed tindora in here. And like I said, you can use uh, zucchini or okra or any other vegetable. If you decide to use okra, then don't steam it. You can just bake it in the oven and use it following the same method now because the tindora is nicely steamed you don't need to cook it for too long just for a couple minutes because remember it's all about 
planning your meals ahead of time and using this quick cooking techniques like steaming, roasting, uh, grinding, fermenting, but everything has to be done at a certain time and you have to think through it ahead of time and that really is the secret to eating flavorful meals every single day. It's just been a couple minutes and as I said, because it's already steamed, we don't need to cook it for too long. And it's time to now add other ingredients. It's pretty much simple. Some corn that was left over and some left over potatoes. Now let's briefly talk about the nutritional benefits of eating the vegetables, specifically tindora, zucchini, corn and potatoes. So this tindora is, is extremely low in calories, 100 calories or my, I would say even 70 calories per pound, okay? And uh, the other health benefit is going to be fiber. You see all the seeds in there, all those seeds are going to be like, like a garbage man in our system. It's going to scrape through our digestive system taking all the toxins along the way. Corn, source of carbohydrates, as well as, um, as fiber. Potatoes, a complete food, really. Uh, minerals, vitamins, carbohydrates, and all the goodness of potassium, etc. So always, always make sure that your diet has enough carbohydrates, otherwise you will be starving and really not successful in your mm, quest to lose weight or to lower your A1C or cholesterol. As a side note here, I just want to show you this broth that I got after steaming the tindora in, in the steamer. This is a very flavorful broth, okay? It's nice and hot and has all the nutrients and the flavor of, of tindora. So instead of buying the broth from outside, I just usually use the leftover water from steaming or even by uh, rinsing the pots and pans uh, because that's where all the flavor lies. So I'm going to use this, just a spoonful of it. That's going to help me get all the trimmings from the bottom of the skillet, making the cleaning process very easy. Let's add some spices. Turmeric. Cayenne. And the star of the show, my mom's goda masala. This recipe for this particular masala has been, masala is basically a mix of uh, different spices. This particular recipe has been in my family, I don't know, maybe 50, 70 years since my grandmother taught me. My grandmother is going to be 104 years old. So there is something to say about that. Now once you add the masala, just allow it to get exposed to heat just for a couple minutes. You should be able to get a nice fragrance and smell once you heat it up. You don't want to burn it just applying a little bit of heat to release all the aromatic compounds of, of the spices. Because spices release their health benefits when they are exposed to heat. We don't need to add them to any kind of oil and kill all the health benefit, I mean, their uh, health benefits or their beneficial compounds which are which reside in them. Most people have trouble eating spicy food. They complain of acid reflux or stomach ache 
not because spices are bad but because they add it to the oil oil is extremely inflammatory so watch it when you are cooking there is absolutely no need to add any oil to your cooking okay again i'm going to add a little sprinkle of of water i mean my broth now the interesting thing about this broth just as a side note is i can add some leftover uh, garlic skin or a chili piece of ginger uh, cilantro leaves and and make it even more flavorful guys do you see what has happened here you see just absolutely flavorful looking tindora corn stir fry done in 10 minutes i'm going to cover it just for a couple minutes and then add and then finish it off with my peanut powder cover it partially so it's so the uh, the uh, the tindora corn fry has been steamed for another 2 minutes with spices and now it's time to sprinkle some coarsely ground peanut powder or any kind of seed powder just to add a little bit of healthy fats required to absorb the other nutrients and a little bit of protein and for flavor because remember there is no egg, any added cooking oil in it and some black sesame seeds for additional calcium and just a tidbit bit of healthy fats and now you are just going to mix it together once you mix it this vegetable is done sprinkle some cilantro and off you go the tindora corn fry is done i mean it uh, it is it is just bursting with flavor i just tried some i mean with it has a nutty flavor from the peanuts and sesame the the sweetness from the tindora corn potato the texture the flavor everything is just just very appealing very uh, uh, not to mention how healthy this is so i hope you guys will try a version of it or this one and uh, please share and subscribe and send me your comments i do appreciate your support thank you and i will see you next time